Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the school supplies I got for my senior year of high school. So I don't have very many supplies. If I need anything else other than what I got at Target, I'll just use leftover binders and stuff that I have from last year or whatever. But this is just the new school supplies that I purchased recently. I like honestly didn't really know how much I would need, but I tried to not go overboard. So I just had enough to work with for the new year. I'll still reusing old school supplies if I need to, which I most likely will. I really just got new notebooks for like the actual supplies other than my pen case because if you filled out a notebook, you can't really reuse it for school. So. But I can easily reuse binders. Also, all the binders were boring anyway, so there was no point in getting new ones. I mentioned this, but all of this is from Target. So I guess we can start with the base notebooks. Now, I got a composition notebook because I actually do need a composition for one of my classes. I'm taking a class called Creative Composition, Creative Comp. It's a creative writing class and I'm really excited for it. So this is the book I got for it and honestly maybe we could throw some stickers on this or something. I got these Kirby stickers from Amazon so I might put on some of those but we'll get to that later. So this one's pretty boring. It's just plain. I got this for like 50 cents or something crazy. Then the actually pretty interesting notebooks. I love this brand Decomposition and I once I saw this, this jellyfish one I could not resist. It's so pretty. I almost wanted to get two because it's so pretty. But I'm not a spiral notebook person, but I just love this design so much. Plus it's easier to rip out for school and I'm more likely to rip out pages for school. So I mean, I guess spirals are convenient, but I am in love with this design. Plus I love moon jellyfish. They're my favorite. The back is just the same so pretty and i think the color is so perfect for it then i have another decomposition notebook which i got to go with this because i was thinking about all my classes and i thought i'd probably need another notebook i don't like using binders but normally teachers make us use binders which i kind of hate but they end up giving out so many papers that's kind of necessary but i like notebooks so much better and like taking my own notes i prefer that but i got another one so these kind of go together but i loved the color that's like the main reason why i wanted it and like it just of plants and then like the cheetah on it it's pretty and the thing about decomposition notebooks is that the inside is really cool as well i have always been in love with these journals ever since i first saw them oh yeah the inside are the same things so yeah just three notebooks for this year i see people on youtube and stuff when they get stuff for senior year they literally get like a notebook and like a folder or something but i have a lot of classes and i don't really know how they do that because i still have like a full load for senior year it's not as laid back as most people make it seem or at least how it was for them now let's move on to the pen case so this is the pencil case i got so again from target this is what the packaging looks like there's this new brand it's made by post-it it's called noted and it's just like a nicer version of post-its i guess but they have the, these really cute i guess vinyl maybe is the word for the material pouches these pen pouches i liked the yellow one but i didn't like like i like i thought that this color combination with the zipper was more fun than what was with the yellow I got these small post-it notes because one of my classes required small post-it notes. I think for annotating, maybe. We'll see. That's probably what I'll use it for. I've never seen square post-it notes because I've seen the small ones, but they're usually like rectangles. But these ones are squares, and I really enjoy that. So then, along with the post-it notes, I got this because I'm always getting random pieces of paper and jotting down to-do lists, even though I have my planner, which I can show you guys my planner. I'll have to pull it out. But... This to-do list is also by the Noted brand. This is what the packaging looks like if you want to try to look for these. It was in the section where the pen case was. It's just a cute little colorful to-do list and I know I'll use this for sure because even though I have a planner, sometimes I forget to check it. So I often have to write myself a list to like put somewhere else so I can make sure I see it because I have a problem with object permanence. If you have ADHD, you'll understand because if I can't see it, then I just forget. And so I often forget about what's written in my planner and just checking my planner in general. Then we have the actual pens. I use this little notepad to test them. 
so I love to doodle in class and just make my notes pretty. Sometimes do cool titles for my notes because what else am I going to do in class? I have a hard time just paying attention if I'm not doing something else while I'm trying to pay attention. I need something to do with my hands. So I got the brush tip mild liners. I have some of them right now, but I don't have a full set. So this is pretty exciting. I normally just have some mild liners and some random pens thrown into my pencil case and I'll play around with those in class. So yes, I know that I will use these and that I will really enjoy them. These are my favorite kind of brush pens. I just think they are so nice. And I've tried the Tombow ones, but I like the mild liner brush tips better. Now, I don't really like the ones that look like highlighters. I don't really care for it, but I guess it will be good if I need a highlighter for school. I have to try to avoid the ones that look like highlighters because it's hard to use those for titles and stuff. But I mean, they'll probably be useful in school. I love this green color. I never realized how similar the blue and the teal look. I mean, they're different. The teal has more green in it, but they're actually fairly similar. I liked this set because some of the colors it came with, like I love how it comes with it's green and blue, like I like um, how it comes with these darker colors, they're really pretty. I will definitely be using these on my journal before school starts, it's for sure. So these are all the mild liners, the brush tip mild liners. Then I did get some black pens because I love adding details to the marker and like outlining them and stuff. These are the Pentel Energels. These are my favorite kind of pens and I recommend them for journaling. They don't bleed through and they don't break up. The line is smooth. Sometimes it's, it's actually a lot of times pretty hard to find a really good pen like that. For it to not break and it to not bleed through is really good. None of them bleed through. That's also why I love the mild liners. But for the letters, I'll do things like this. You guys see me do it in my journaling all the time. Love doing this to titles, just doing like a little drop shadow or something. I'm not a huge calligraphy person. I don't do too fancy of calligraphy, but I just do it where you press down when you're going down and kind of lighten up the pressure as you're going up. And then I'll take a black pen and I'll outline just one side of the letters so it looks like a drop shadow. And I'm normally pretty messy about it, so it's not perfect, that's for sure. But that's just what I do and how I like it. So yeah, I'll do titles like this and I'll just play around with it. Play around with a lot of different fonts when I'm bored in the middle of class. And then, of course, for school, I need pencils. Oh yeah, also, this is the packaging for the pens, by the way, if you're trying to look for them. Then, of course, for school, I need pencils. So, for my pencils, I got the big ones, but these are a little different. They're a little different than how they normally are. The pencils are made out of recycled plastic. It's just a little different, but I sold them and it's better than getting the normal ones, I guess. This is the packaging, obviously, and recycled the box. Now, this isn't all the pens. It also came with all these, but I can't really fit them all in this without like squishing it and like having an overflowing amount of pens and pencils in my pencil case. So I just took out the green and yellow ones to put in here because those are my favorite colors. And these I'm just putting at my desk. And so I can always like restock my pencils in the middle. But yeah, this is just the basic big pen, I mean big mechanical pencil. You know, the ones that most people use. Standard. So that's my whole pen case. I'm sure I will grow throughout the year. By the way, these post-it notes are just by the brand post-it. I also have room if I really need anything else in here. I like this material for the pencil case too because hopefully it'll stay cleaner. I hate when pencil marks get all over my pencil bag. That's why I, I don't like getting the canvas pencil bags. They're just normal pencil bags. So now let me show you my planner. 
I've had this planner since freshman year, so this will be my fourth year of using it. Yes, the same planner. It's a daily planner. I got it from Urban Outfitters at the time, and it was just the price of like a nice planner, I guess. Like the same price as a cute one that you would get at Target, I guess. So it wasn't too outrageous, but it's a daily planner, so each page is for a day and i'm pretty sure they still make this kind of a planner and i am so obsessed with it there is a day and slash month spot today today's objective which actually i really enjoy that detail notes and then your to-do list so then the notes i'll like kind of doodle in and then put like a title for the day so i can make it all fun and have that to do during my day something fun to do during school i guess and then objectives and projects so i can plan things if i have ideas a little doodle spot and then there's also an hourly timetable and i love it i mean it's not in the best shape but like i said i've used this for a full three years now and it's going on its fourth year so i'm pretty impressed with it let me show you an example of how to use it like as you can see i like playing around with my pens and stuff making it cute like this is what i do during class like I'll make notes in here when I have things to do after school that aren't in school. I keep the to-do mostly for just homework and keep it strictly school. This I didn't even do. A friend in the middle of class did this because it's also fun to like just have someone do your spread for you. I just like have fun doodling and stuff. Here is like an example of how I might use all of this and for the objective it's normally like have a good day or just get through the day. Sometimes I have more fun with it than others like this i actually doodled here it's kind of cool looking friday this is right before valentine's day mm, doodles here oh i like the doodle this was fun today i'll just use whatever random pens i have in my notebook i have someone leave me a note on one of the days here so there's like a random note on one of the doodle sections sometimes i'll put little things for me to look forward to like this one <laughs> I put the date and I just put a little doodle man to say hi to my future self. Oh, here. I was really being all fancy. Why not? Why not? But yeah, that's my planner. I'm using the same planner. I don't use every day of my planner. So I like an undated planner. So I don't waste a ton of pages. And that's why I'm obsessed with this planner because I can just keep going rather than having a ton of blank pages just wasted in dated planner. So I really recommend undated planners. And it doesn't have to be like this. You can get ones that have monthly spreads and whatever, but I don't use the monthly spreads. I just like daily spreads, so this is the most perfect planner for me. Let's throw some stickers on here, honestly. Well, we'll see what I have. Some tea. These are just from Amazon, by the way. Just look up, like, Kirby stickers, I guess. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna use the ones that I love too much because I don't want to waste them. Or, like, this is not what I would want to use my favorite stickers on. I could even put some of the flower stickers I made myself. Which, I am trying to like make these sticker sheets a thing on my Etsy, but I need to somehow use like a Photoshop account or something because I don't have one, but I think I can get it through my school because they like give us access to the Adobe Cloud for free, which is freaking cool. And so, if I can do that, then I can get sticker sheets made, which may be really cool. So actually, let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I really want to make these sticker sheets and and also my star sticker sheets into an actual thing because they're like my favorite stickers I've made and I love using them in my own journals and like I'll catch myself using them and then I'm like I really need to make them a thing but I'm gonna keep using them I'm gonna use one of each type of little sticker in the set. That's the variety of stickers that are on the sheet. There, now that's more fun. Let's make school fun by making a cute notebook. That's all my school supplies for senior year of high school. It's not much, but it's cute, and that's all we care about.
and also I'll use it because I got things that I know that I need or use usually because at this point I know what school supplies I like or like the things that I actually use because sometimes we get stuff that's cute but it's not very useful or just doesn't work for the way we function by this point I know how I function and so I'm excited for my school supplies this year let me know if you guys have gotten your school supplies yet and if you found any good finds hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video Thank you.